I know you're taping me. I know you're taping me. You What do you get out of the car? Get out of the car. Let's go. Let's go, tough guy. You're being tough because I'm wearing this Smash it. You're being tough because I'm wearing this uniform, right? Being tough? I'm pretty sure if I wasn't wearing this uniform, you wouldn't no, no, be doing no, no, the same no, thing. No, 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 no. You almost whatever. hit my car. Whatever, okay. All right, whatever. Okay, watch your f***ing car and you watch other people's property. Has nothing to do with the uniform. Got plenty of friends in UPS. Paul, Vinny, nice guy. He knows Paul, Vinny, Upstate Kate, Jake from State Farm, in Charleston, Chew. And you call the cops and you look at the suit because you want the money, right? I don't need your f I, money. Well, why you I don't need your f money. Why do you want your money? I don't need your money. No, they should. That's why they should put a wall up. A wall up. A wall up. That's right. Yeah, a that's right. Get down. Get down. A wall up. A wall up. Get down. <laughs> get down. Ah, uh, get down. Okay, you're not going to get me, guy. You're not, I, I know, got your plate. Because you're a I got your plate. What are you I doing with the plate? plate? I got your plate. I know all Nassau County cops. Good. Good for you. Go According to at Dave New World 2, this racist scumbag was last seen in Nassau County, New York, yelling at a UPS driver in the middle of the road. As the opening clip showed, this racist said the driver almost hit his car because he wants the money. Not sure of how that works. Nor do I know what spitting on the ground in front of someone means. I'm not saying this dude represents all of Long Island, but I gotta learn more about their slang. Anyways, he proudly told the UPS driver that his mere presence is why they should put up the wall. He knew he was on camera and wants to be famous for his road rage. The internet was more than happy to oblige. This racist name is Jonathan Lieberman and he studied at The Ohio State University. Come on, man. Did the spinning come from us? I don't remember seeing that on campus. Anyways, evidently, Jonathan has a shady past and a little bit of a checkered history doing the opposite of staying in his lane. Not staying in his lane, I guess. On the road, it seems like the only thing worse than actual traffic accidents is the tragedies that come from road rage. I'm glad the driver drove away and didn't try to prove he's tough to someone who's hopefully Paul and Vinny are no longer going to talk to. But, you know, Jonathan Lieberman is famous now. So for Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. Just a reminder that the internet is one great big small town, as he's about to find out. Because I didn't have uh, one person or two people. I had three people go, I know who that guy is. It's this guy. This guy uh, being Jonathan Lieberman. His profile also says he works here, but also says he's the owner of JML Gold Corp. Um, so Jonathan seems very involved in the jewelry industry in Nassau County. Also, it's abundantly clear, not just from the shirt, uh, but from other things as well, that Jonathan is a very big Iron Maiden fan. And I'd say there's a, a good chance that Iron Maiden is going to become aware of you, um, but not in a good way. So uh, shout out to Paul and Vinny, and uh, maybe if you're mad at someone about their driving, uh, don't make it racist. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.